I am here at U Pull and Pay in the parking lot, getting ready to get out. Uh, you bring your tools in, you find your part, you pay for your part, you pull it all yourself, hence the name. Uh, it's great because you pay a lot less. Uh, online, you know, you're paying for someone to pull the part, uh, sell you the part, so there's an upcharge. If you go and find it yourself, uh, it's pretty inexpensive. I believe the ECUs around here are for $25, and that is what I am looking for. You saw in that last episode, I need the D15B7 uh, ECU. It's the P06 model, and uh, thanks to technology, I was able to look online on Upol's website, and they say they still have a 93 uh, Civic DX that should have the P06 uh, ECU. We'll hope. So I'm on my way. I get the list here of all the cars they have. Nice big list. I'm gonna go on the first one here that I see is a 93 on row 48. So that's where I'm headed. You walk out into the pile of shit. Let's see, let's check the map. Oh, imports, yes, I know I am here. So, row 48, that's what we're looking for first. Is there row numbers? Oh, there we go, row 45. That car, 46, 47, 48. That's the Miata. This place is nice because they got it all up on jack stands. Some other ones I've been to, not jack stands, but on these tires. So I ended up coming back to row 45. Here's a four door. Civic 93 it says and the ECU is sitting right here, but unfortunately it's the wrong one It's a P14 ECU Still at that 93 just wanted to point out that this intake manifold does look a lot like the one I already have So that's good. It's got like this webbing to it. It looks very similar to the one they put on mine All right, so I found this 93 here Unfortunately, it looks like someone's already got the ECU. I'm gonna climb in this motherfucker. And it looks like. Here's the gauge cluster, is what I'm looking at. I don't know if I can plug into the back of that or not. I'll we'll have to see. Alright, I had to pop the door from the inside and. Oop, don't want to scratch the paint. So I found this uh, uh, tack. It looks like it should work. I'm gonna go for that, but unfortunately, the ECU is gone. Stumbled across this one, row 55, and you want to find something in here? Oh, at the end. I was pretty <laughs> thinking that the uh, ECU would not be in here. Think is how there's nothing in here. I didn't get exactly what I came for, but I got my gauge cluster and I got it for 20 bucks. So I know the cheapest one I saw on eBay was 30, but then plus 20 shipping. So that would have been at least $50 there. So by going and pulling it myself, I saved 30 bucks and I got a really nice cluster. So I know of another um, uh, U-Pull type place around uh, that's on my way home. So, or a little bit out of the way on my way home. I'm going to uh, check it out and see if I can find any ECUs there. And uh, I just thought of it too, a bit of uh, junkyard humor for you there. Uh, when I was checking out, the guy saw my gauge cluster, and he's like, hey man, uh, I don't think she charged you for something. I was like, what? No, I was just standing there. She, he was like, look man, it's got a full tank of gas. I was like, it was pretty good. <laughs> okay, so I'm at another yard now called Budget U-Pull. I got a 
a bunch of stuff here too. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be kind of futile to find this uh, ECU. Um, everything that I'm looking at is just like gone, gone, gone. And I'm pretty sure as soon as the car hits the dirt, people are picking it apart. So I'm going to look. I'm here. It was one that was I found that was uh, very close to my home. So I'm here. I'm going to look. Uh, hopefully I can find something. Again, even the gauge cluster and everything. I think I'm pretty lucky to have found the cluster I did. What I've come to the conclusion of is I'm pretty much gonna have to buy an ECU online. Um, these these things are all gone, every single car I've checked out. So that sucks. Um, however, I did find the gauge cluster. I'm super happy about that. That seems to be a rare find in these junkyards as well. So very happy about that. And also, I've been needing an exhaust in my Civic EK because it was it had a problem with rust at one of the joints. It broke off, fell down. So I found this green EK here and I got the exhaust. I'm very happy about that. We'll see how much they're gonna charge for that, but uh, very cool. You saw I bought the ECU there. Um, about a week's time has passed. I ordered it last Sunday. I came in the mail Wednesday, and today is Friday. I get off work very early on Fridays, um, around 11 o'clock usually, so uh, just about noon, and I am getting ready to take the ECU out of the EG, the PO5, and put in the PO6. I did buy this ECU online, like I said, um, going through the junkyard was, you know, it's a guessing game if you're going to find it. Uh, so this one in particular is a Deshinigan, I believe is how you say. Uh, Honda seemed to use a couple different manufacturers. I think it was IPK or IPT was one of them. Then the Deshin again, and I believe there was one more. And there seems to be a lot of confusion online as to whether this is an original Honda ECU. And I still don't fully know, but I believe it is. Uh, this one in particular came out of a 95 uh, Civic DX with the D15 D7 PO6 model. We go over to the car. And I'm sure you all know, but if some don't, their CU is in the bottom right corner here, passenger side. Looks like it's a couple 10 millimeters to take the ECU out, and then this plate kind of covering it to hold it in. I got my 10 millimeter here, getting ready to remove the ECU. Attach these couple bolts. I did look up. Uh, whether or not you need to disconnect the battery uh, just because I've never done this and uh, you know it's an electrical component I wasn't sure so from what I found online people said that they have not disconnected the battery and that it works out fine so here's to hoping uh, but um, some people also said that they have um, from what I gather it's not that big of an issue ECU is down and you see the wiring loom here um, there are three main connectors it looks like once again you guys I have not done this before so I'm just saying it as I go but there are three connections on the back um, little chance to get this wrong uh, because there are three main ones but I'm thinking you know 
as long as you don't remove this like a barbarian, uh, you'll be able to find where it goes uh, to put back easy enough. One. Make sure are not easy to come out. Two. Three. That's the old PO5 unit out. Here's the new PO6. Sure, they are snug, and there they go. They are in. So the ECU is installed. PO6. That's the old PO5. Now I could try to start the car, but to make it more epic for me, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead get into replacing this gauge cluster. That's the stock unit. You remember from the other day, I got my cluster out of the junkyard. So we'll start on that. That whole thing I was just telling you about with the um, ECU and not being a barbarian when you're taking something apart. Well, fuck. So I started taking that thing off and it just cracked like one nasty crack right down by where the cluster and the AC meet. And I was like, fuck. So then I just kept chiseling away at it. I had to use my little pry bar thing. I'm sure there's a better way. I totally broke this one. That's my fault. <laughs> but uh, again, because race car. Um, maybe I'll replace it. I don't know. But yeah, this is the state of it for right now. But at least we got to the gauge cluster. The important part. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking that out. So we got the cluster pulled out. And you see on the back of it here, there are a bunch of different connectors uh, and little lights. Those are the lights that will light up the cluster, obviously. And we just go ahead and connect those wiring harnesses into our new one here. My old cluster had the glass on it still, or the plastic cover. So I went ahead and took that off and I'm going to be putting it on the new one. That way I don't accidentally hit the dials and break them. So I'm just cleaning this thing off. Because why reinstall it dirty? Clean it up. I believe I have all the bulbs put in and the front glass or plastic cover is on. These two definitely are different in the back. So I hope everything just transfers over and works. Um, can't really show you a side by side the way I'm sitting, but uh, this cluster here definitely has some more holes in different spots than this one does. The gauge cluster is in. I broke the shit out of the uh, little 
gauge cluster panel holdy in thing. We'll see if I get another one or not. Um, the ECU is in. I've got the key. Time to see if this baby starts. <laughs> yes. We've got the car on. Uh, the PO6 is running the car, so that's great news. Uh, but unfortunately with the gauge cluster, you see the revs are not working. Now the vehicle speed sensor is still broken, so I'm wondering if that's to do with it. As you see the lights on, the fuel is reading what the proper fuel should be reading. The gauge cluster is working, but it's not working. Um, the tachometer still is not working, which is pretty disappointing. Um, the, like I said, the vehicle speed sensor still doesn't work, so uh, do you guys know? Um, I'm gonna look it up, of course, but tell me, uh, would the vehicle speed sensor also be related to the tachometer? Uh, or is it maybe just in the wiring, or maybe just this tack is broken? I don't know, give me your opinion. Um, but the great news is that the PO6 uh, works, it just fires right up. So the next video will be going for a test drive and giving you all my reaction to that. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please comment, subscribe, like the video. Um, I love talking to y'all about this, so please keep it coming. See you next time.